Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. Can't leave the house. Hey, how are you? Are you doing better? It's been a while since, you know. Yeah, I, I'm trying to give you space. But of course, if, if you need me, just say something, okay? I'll come and get you. So, please, I'll be a stranger. What the shit? Whoa! Whoa! What the? The time just... What the sh... Alright, so I'm not gonna start with the good morning, good afternoon, and you know my usual phrase. Uh, this is just some meta commentary. Really, this is about Tokyo Game Show Day 2. And if I don't sound enthusiastic as usual, well, it's because it was kind of boring. And, I'm gonna make this kind of like, three minutes, and I might as well play, like, what me and my wife usually play, Golden Axe 2 or 1. It just depends on, I guess, the day. Alright, let's... Okay, let's just skip through this. I think I'll just skip through it. Cool. And I'll just make it easy. Uh, life meter, that, and that's cool. Uh, yeah, normal game, and I'll play the dwarf guy. Alright, so... To kind of sum up, uh, day two of Tokyo Game Show... I, I gotta admit, it's like a two or one out of ten, and I will explain why. I made some notes, and I'll pretty much make this pretty short. Uh, first off, there was no new games that was announced. It's like... They're saving the new games for the Game Awards or something, well, interesting. Oh, wrong button. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's like all the games that they want to announce for 2024 has already been announced. And so... Yeah, cool. I gotta remember that one. And so all the games that they want to announce for, like, for this year, it's already been announced. And no one really cares because it's already been announced. Hey, I am a Dragon Quest fan like anybody else, but it just, there's nothing interesting. Or let me put it this way. Alright, so before I restart the timer again, because how many minutes has it been? Alright, it's been two minutes, so I'll try to make this pretty fast, so I'll set the timer for two minutes. Uh, okay, so let's try to start again, and I'll try to make this short as possible, so we'll do two, two minutes. And I'll just kind of, like, break down why this was like a one or two. So, no new games were announced. So, whatever games that we want to announce are just, like, sequels to franchises that we actually give a crap about, PlayStation, Xbox, or Nintendo-wise. Sadly, you're not going to get that for all that's been announced. Existing, there's only existing game updates. I'm a fan of uh, Swickenin and Dragon Quest, and hey, I'm completely okay with that, but you're giving me updates. And the updates are 40 plus minutes. So it doesn't make the, uh, it doesn't just make the kind of like showcase just excessive and just arduous. It just makes it extremely boring. And that's just like not a selling factor. Also, the Kai is a wake up call that 2024 was just slim on video games, just in general. I know that they're really trying to sell that, hey, Oh, yeah, all these updates on these existing games that are coming out this year or next year is exciting. It's not. It's, it just kind of shows us that they have no games available. And once we're... Let, let's just say there are actually new games that come out in 2025. Once they're gone, what do we have for 2026? Who knows? But really, 2024, it was just slim on games. I was actually really disappointed. Tied the free fire. Oh, well, you just knocked me off the track. Fine. Dang it, it's been so long since I played this game. Get out of my way, lizard! That's my lizard! Yeah. And to give you a little bit more detail... As I pause for effect... Uh, I skip Anaplex... You know, that anime kind of like that does SAO, Fairytale, and so on. Uh, yeah. Fairytale, I know, was the takeaway from that. I skipped it. Uh, Sega, Atlas... Besides Metaphor Reef and Tizio, play the game is freaking awesome, but the actual conference, lame. It's it was very disappointing. Uh 
Square Enix, as I made a note, what was the point? Uh, Infinity Nikki, I skipped because I didn't really care about the game that was being announced. Uh, I did find Hype Japan, it wasn't worth the hype. That kind of sums it up. It was actually just kind of like, I wasted my time and I just kind of like, speed run through all the clips and I just did not care. Why did I keep wasting the power button? God. Yep, it's been that long since I played the game. Well, it's okay. How do I free fire again? It's been a while. Well, anyway, that's my takeaway from Take 2. I... Well, it was 5 minutes, so that's like, kind of like, sums it up. So, what did you guys think of Day 2 on Tokyo Game Show? You can definitely leave a like, comment, or subscribe. And I guess I await pretty much Day 3. For the rest of the day, we're going to focus on the PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. But before we do that, there's two demos I need to finish up. I will try to cover those, but really the focus is the PlayStation Plus Extra and Premium. So under the way, Chernobyl Light is part of it too. Okay, well, I will see you guys in the next clip. That's it. That's all we got. Five minutes. And it was lightly quick. Ha! Huh. Starts to the point.